Hi students, good morning. How are you today? Okay, welcome to our math class. This morning we are going to learn about place value and digit value and using zero as a place holder. Again, our topic today is about place value and digit value and using zero as a place holder. Okay, let's read our vocabulary two times, okay? Number one, place value, place value, digit value, digit value, once, once, tens, tens. Hundreds, hundreds, thousands, thousands, ten thousands, ten thousands. Okay, next, hundred thousands, hundred thousands, millions, millions. Ten millions, ten millions, hundred millions, hundred millions, zero, zero, place holder, place holder. Okay, here's our structure. What is the place value of blank in blank? What is the place value of blank in blank? Answer. The place value of blank is blank. Again. The place value of blank is blank. Okay, next. What is the digit value of blank in blank? Again, what is the digit value of blank in blank? Answer. The digit value of blank is blank. The digit value of blank is blank. Alright students, I have a question. Do you know the distance of the earth from the sun? Okay, according to the study, the distance of the earth from the sun is 149 million 597,870 kilometers. Right. Using these numbers, we will know what is the place value and the digit value. Okay. We use the place value chart like the one shown below to present the value of each digit. Okay. The place values are ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. Okay, they are place values. Okay. Digits, from this number, the digits are 1, 4, 9, 5, 7, 9, 8, 7, and 0. 
Okay, look at the chart. From the chart, we find that one in the hundred millions place has a digit value of one hundred million. Okay, and four in the ten millions place has a digit value of 40 million. And next, 9 in the millions place has a digit value of 9 million. All right. 5 in the 100,000 place has a digit value of 500,000. And next, 7 in the 10,000 place has a digit value of 70,000. Alright. And 9 in the 1,000 place has a digit value of 9,000. Okay, eight in the hundreds place has a digit value of eight hundred. And seven in the tens place has a digit value of seventy. And the last zero in the ones place has a digit value of zero. Okay. A zero is used as a placeholder in a number so that the non-zero digits in the number can be positioned in the right places. For example, Okay, consider the following number, 3,405, okay? The tens place and the number 3,405 has a zero in it. This means that the tens place in 3,405 has no digit value. No digit value. Okay. However, the zero must be put there so that the non-zero numbers 3, 4, and 5 are correctly positioned in their respective places. Okay, let's practice. What is the place value of zero in 3,405? The place value of zero is hands. Okay. What is the digit value of zero in 3,405? The digit value of zero is zero. Do you understand? Good. Right. What is the place value of one in 61,083? The place value of one is thousands. Right? Next, what is the digit value of one in 61,083? The digit value of one is 1,000. Do you understand? Very good. Okay, let's fill the table below. Write the place value and value of the underlined 
digit. Okay. What is the place value of 3? Answer. Alright. Tens. The place value of 3 is tens. Next. What is the digit value of 3? The digit value is 30. Very good. Okay. Next. What is the place value of 0? Yes. Hundred thousands. Next, what is the digit value of zero? Very good. The digit value is zero. And last, what is the place value of five? Yes, the place value is ten millions. And what is the digit value of 5? Very good. The digit value of 5 is 50 million. Okay. This is now the time to answer your worksheet. Write the place value and digit value of each underlying Digit. Do you understand? Okay. Thank you for watching, students. See you again next time. Bye-bye.